Guys, we picked a perfect day to come out here and fish. We're gonna <laughs> yeah. get soaked. It's gonna be wet. Dang. Stay tuned and uh, we're gonna learn along the way. Right, guys so if you're effectively trying to catch shad to use as catfish bait what you want to do is if you have an inlet at your local lakes or wherever you are what you want to do is fish near where the inlet is coming into the main lake because a lot of these fish will wait for the food to come in and with so many being down there really all you have to do is cast across and you will feel on the bottom as you're retrieving in the little bumps and a lot of times you'll just snag them some will be curious and give it a chase and that's when you'll get into them so just a little tip there and really the beauty of uh coming to chase the shad is is there's other species that will come and feed in an inlet um so you'll always catch a uh, pleasant surprise as i hit the other side of the creek i recommend with a line that's between six to ten pounds if you are going to uh, try to fish for them because you want to be able to bring them up over uh, something like a railing without it breaking off uh, there's you can also uh, put a, a worm under a bobber and try to get to the bottom as close as possible sometimes that's moment to work one of the best way to get into one is if you go across the creek, let it sink to the bottom, slowly retrieve, slow retrieve, jerk once, slow retrieve more, jerk again. What you want to do is eventually make four or five jerks, retrieve it, and then eventually you'll bump into one. And that's when you want to set the hook, right? As you throw these <clears throat> over and slowly cast them in, any bumps aggressive bumps what you want to do is uh set the hook so you can get into into it uh, nice long cast i think it's a shad I've been getting them by the mouth. <laughs> They've actually been hitting the, the paddle tail. All right, let's bring him in. They actually put up a quite entertaining fight. Not bad. Shad by the mouth. Right in the mouth. Right in the snout. Right in the nose. Still the best catch at the bottom, though. These guys are great bait for catfish. Guys, so a lot of times what you want to do is you want to cut the shad up. You'll cut the shad up in pieces, get it on a hook, and the catfish will eat it right off the bottom. Not bumping into the shad like last time, I am, every single cast. Are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one. Good stuff. Battling it in the rain, guys. Finally, here we go. I might have snagged the shad, too. Feels like it. Maybe we're doubled up, guys. Already. On the coast of Maine, guys, and we've doubled up. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, it feels like I got a shad by its back. Yep. Gosh. Look how big the shad is, guys. Seriously. Look at this ball. It's unreal. Unreal. Yep. Put a whole one of those on at Boulder and might catch you 40 pounds.
Now we're gonna go over here, just a little bit away from Paul. I think maybe another shad feels like a shad. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no way. It's not. Oh yeah. Shad, yeah. That is the biggest shad. That's a 17-inch shad. You're just in the way, however you look at it. Nasty conditions out here. It's not stopping a fish from feeding. God, this one bite the mouth. I got this one by the mouth. <laughs> I thought trout shook a lot. Whew. That is the biggest shot I have ever seen. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tutorial on how to catch shad. Best time to get him, honestly, is when the inlet is letting water in. And most lakes, you know, in warm areas like on the east side of Colorado, if you're in Colorado. But they're not too bad. Just go to an inlet and let it go bounce off the bottom and you'll feel them and eventually snag them and even get them by the mouth. They're curious like any other fish. Till next time.